times, not of course not senator, but in the, in the public, we argue out of uh, ignorance. Like now, immediately after election, some leaders were saying that, okay, they did not find the coffers were empty, the treasury did not have money, there was only 93 million shillings that was found there. Uh, and we find it very, uh, really, I don't know whether to sympathize with the situation, because there's a lot of ignorance about it. Government does not collect money, stores in one place, keeps for one month, and then distributes after one month or after one year. We collect, we raise revenue on daily basis, and we fund government on daily basis. And there are also then there are competing needs. Salaries at this level, how much do we give to counties? How much do we give to the national, I mean to the to parliament? How much goes to the judiciary? How much do we use to settle debt? A number of things, you know, the competing needs. So the performance of revenue sometimes can be a challenge. We will make a projection to raise a certain amount of money, this financially, I mean this, this week, but you end up raising less. So how do you now determine what goes to the counties and what goes elsewhere? So the low performance of revenue raised nationally impacts on our disbursement, not only to the counties, but also to the rest of government. And we've also realized that over time, the counties have over relied on the equitable share and completely ignored on source revenue. If you look at the county councils and the municipal councils of those times, they collect more revenue than the current one. And yet those are not tailor-made. I mean, they are small organizations, ill-equipped, less experienced, without necessary capacity to manage that. But now the county government, fully functional, with all the professionals, with all the infrastructure, cannot raise revenue of their own. And I think that is the basis of where we need to interrogate ourselves. Why? Either they are collected but not remitted, either they are collected or used at the source, and this impacts negatively. Sometimes county governments present huge budgets. This is the equitable share, this is the amount of money they are going to raise on their own, and yet they do not do it. If they do not do it, and they have such a big budget, you end up collecting, spending money that you do not have. And the process accumulates lots of pending bills, which now impacts on the general state of the economy at the county level. Because you are aware there are a number of, especially SMEs, who are struggling for having supplies in the counties, for having contracted services by the counties, and yet they have not been paid, not once, maybe even over two, three, four, five years. And the situation is very bad because I think from where we sit, there are many, many counties that are really struggling. They have accumulated huge pending bills, even more than a share of one year or even sometimes even, even more. And these are areas that I think it is the duty of the Senate to enforce certain level of discipline by working with the National Treasury.